During a build piece experimentation stream, we worked out how to build a gorgeous tessellated star floor. And today, I'm going to show you how to do it. If you do like this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to check me out on Twitch. Link is in the description below. So, to build the tessellating star floor, you're going to start with a small black marble column and you're going to place it down in the middle of where you want to start your floor. And then you're going to take your black marble floor triangles and you are going to rotate them around the column so that they face inwards and point to the edges. So they point to the edges of the octagonal pillar like so. Once you've gone the whole way around, sometimes you encounter the issues of height. So you just want to make sure that they're nice and all level. Sometimes they can snap low. Sometimes they can snap high. There you go. They're all level now. You get rid of the column and you have your star. And then from here, in order to make it tessellate, you're going to want to take black marble one by one by ones. And then you're going to want to place them on the corners, outside corners of each triangle. Like so. And from there, you can then take a, another black marble triangle and repeat the process. Like so. To create that. Then take your black marble column small. Make sure it lines up to the correct edge like so. And place it down. Now height is an issue here. So if you see how I've placed this marble column and it's snapped in and it looks like it's slightly lower than the star or than the triangle. If I now go to try and snap another triangle onto the edge of it, you will see we have slight problems getting it to snap but we've still managed to get it the right height uh, and you just need to be careful that you do that because if you don't do that and you 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 know you snap it low or you snap it high then you end up getting lips that look really bad but luckily this time we appear to be getting the god of valheim rng on our side and everything is snapping smoothly like so and there you have it. And so then you can proceed to tessellate this as many times as you wish. And I'll just quickly go and tessellate it a few more times. So once you've tessellated it out a few more times, you're then going to want to fill in the corners to make your blanks complete. And I'll bring you back when we've done that. I just wanted to bring you back real quick while I was doing that because I just realized that this pattern actually looks gorgeous in its hexagonal form. Um, so, you know, you could do this you wanted to like have a hexagonal feature piece in the middle of your floor okay and once you have tessellated them out further you should have a floor that looks like this and of course this is infinitely tessellatable um as you can see every single end ends up having these additional um sections so you can keep just adding more and more stars on once you have this however you do obviously still have a bunch of holes that you can fall down in now some of them you can't like this one you can't but the stars you can and these larger ones you can so what i like to do is i like to fill those up and there's a there's a few different ways you can fill them up um, and we're going to go through those now the first is to just use um regular white stone um and the issue with using regular white stone if you if you just snap it in by default then you end up getting it overlapping like this and it looks ugly so you do have to actually lower it down a splash into floor now obviously if i just place it on the floor like so that's going to be way too low down so what we have to do is we have to find a way to get it to snap in so that it's just under what we want it to be but it's still separate like so and that's how we're going to do it right there just by taking our piece holding shift to be able to free place and then just raising it up 
So it sits just under where we want it. So it doesn't cover over any of the black marble at all. And then placing. Now, once we've placed it once, we're then just going to use that to snap on from now on. So we will just then start snapping this. Sometimes you find it might not snap quite the way you want it to snap. Um, and there's, you know, there's some finagling to do. Um, but it, it generally ends up being pretty relaxing uh, to find the correct snap points for all of these. And it does look quite nice. However, it's not my favorite. Uh, in fact, my favorite comes from two other options. Um, being wooden flooring and carpeted flooring and for wooden flooring simply enough we're just going to take our two by two wood floors we're going to aim down and we're just going to stack them up until they are at the correct height which in this case is right there like so and there's ju again just under the lip it looks fantastic and then again with these you can get them to snap no problem like so and these definitely snap these definitely snap nicer than the stone floors do as you can see and sometimes it's just again it's a bit about finagling Sometimes you can get them to snap low, but not high. So you can you can snap them low. And then once you've got one snap low, you can, you can stack them up like so. Snap more. And I'll bring you back when these are snapped. And there we go. All of the wood is snapped in. And this is what the floor looks like now. I really love the way that the wood looks i think it adds a really nice contrast to the black marble uh, it looks it looks rustic but also decadent at the same time and it looks very very fancy now you can also not use wood and instead use carpet and in order to do that what you're actually going to want to do is drop down a layer on the wood so you're going to want to drop into a dip like this because if we try and run carpet over the, the the top layer here it literally, literally just goes over the top of everything so we're going to take the new blue jute carpet and we're just going to place it like so and it's okay that there's a little bit of depth there our character walks over it no problem and the blue looks fantastic and you could even go ahead and just do that within the stars if you wanted you could just get rid of the the, the the lower levels of the wood in the stars um and just for the example we will grab this we will once again grab our wood floor we will build it up one more and then we will get our blue jute and lay it in and that looks fantastic and you could repeat that for all of the stars and there you have the carpeted version. So there's a great many different things you can do and you could fill those gaps, uh, either all of the gaps or some of the gaps with rugs, with carpet, with different types of flooring. The possibilities are endless. And you can tessellate this as infinitely or as little as you want. And that's it. You can border it however you wish with more marble, with white stone, with wood. You can decorate it further or leave it more bare. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it has helped. Please do hit that like button. Consider subscribing and check out my Twitch in the description below. Where we come up with builds like this all the time and work on other big mega projects. See you next time.